Jonah Lomu played 63 test matches for the All Blacks, bursting onto the world stage at the 1995 World Cup as a 19-year-old, scoring seven tries in four matches, including four in the semi-final against England in Cape Town. He played for several clubs in his homeland and also turned out for Cardiff Blues in Wales before a serious kidney condition forced him to retire in 2002. In 2007, it was the most natural thing in the world to induct him into the Rugby Hall of Fame. But no list of achievements tries and appearances can come close to summing up what he meant to rugby and the All Blacks in particular. Former teammate Christian Cullen. What a machine he was on the field and what a player Jonah was. I mean, um, gentle John off the field gave us time, very humble, gave us time to those that five-year-old kid gave us time to the 80 year old woman, didn't matter who they were. Sports journalist Ricky Swanell, who's in Auckland, says he took the sport to a whole new level. He was the guy who was the first household name as a rugby player throughout the world, and he is still the guy who, wherever he went, was still mobbed by people, be it here in New Zealand or over there in the UK. And New Zealand's Prime Minister John Key says his country will be devastated. He'll be remembered um, not only for being a truly amazing global sportsman and of course some of those incredible encounters that we saw in the 95 Rugby World Cup against England. He'll be remembered for his sportsmanship. Well, the tributes from the rugby world, an equal mix of shock and sadness. Danny Cipriani saying Lomu was the reason he picked up a rugby ball, a legend and a true inspiration. Johnny Wilkinson I'm so, so devastated to hear of the passing away of Jonah Lomu the greatest superstar and just a fabulous human being, deeply saddened.